Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, this is Jason Raju. And we are proceeding uh, towards the topic uh, sensors. And I would like to deal with uh, motion sensors and temperature sensors, magnetic and light sensors in the today's class. Generally, what are the measuring quantities and what are the stimulus to or uh, measurings utilized to measure and uh, the quantity which is to be measured will be having a glance regarding it once. Eucaustic, Eucaustic is nothing but the sound waves or the voice frequency variations that has been done at different levels and further the wave fluctuations will be monitored amplitude or phase polarization and the parts of uh, the wave fluctuations spectrums and uh, wave velocity and in the case of uh, this biological and chemical parameters fluid concentrations such as gases or uh, liquids has been monitored and in the case of these uh, electrical stimulus the parameters such as charge, voltage, current, electrical field, such as amplitude, phase polarization, conductivity, permittivity, capacity will be measured. In the case of these magnetic type of stimulus, magnetic field variations, flux generations, magnetic permeability, as measured with respect to the quantity and in the case of this optical refractive index the reflections absorptions the emissions also will be measured in the case of thermal temperature flux specific heat and thermal conductivity Coming to the mechanical point of view, position sensors, velocity, acceleration, forces, stress, strain, pressure, torque, RPM, etc. will be used for the quantity measurement. Just we will have a look about these physical parameters. In the case of electrical mode of operations and even the optical sources or light rays. Here we will be looking with Ampere's law, a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field experiences a force. It is a galvanometer. The Curie uh, rules law. The transition of temperature at which ferromagnetic materials exhibits a paramagnetic behavior. So ferromagnetic in the sense uh, will generate the fluctuations and that need to be identified with the producing current existing in the present containing magnetic behavior. So this paramagnetic behavior Moving on to the Faraday's laws, the coil is resist a change in magnetic field by generating an opposing voltage or current. Nothing but an example is transformer. When the excitation has been commenced on the primary coil simultaneously, in the, depending on the mutual inductance, by the process of the mutual inductance, the EMF will be produced on the secondary coil windings also and moving on to the photoconductive effect and the light strikes certain semiconductor materials and the resistance of the materials will be it decreases that is photo resistor and how the sensor need to be chosen on what factors these sensors need to be chosen and what are the characteristics need to be identified and depending upon which environmental conditions 
these parameters need to be obtained. We'll be having a small glance regarding it. The temperature sensors, environmental basis of factors, uh, temperature range that is changing with respect to the climatic conditions as per the seasonal variations such as summer, winter, rainy, etc. Humidity effects and within the open room, open containing rooms or enclosed rooms are open to the atmospheric criteria. Corrosions, corrosions are nothing but the blocking of the passages by the incorporation of the slurry materials on the runway and depending upon the dimensions that are sizes, different sizes, over range protections, susceptibility of uh, engineering material uh, interfaces, ruggednesses, power consumptions, self-test capabilities. Moving on to the economical factors, as per the cost basis, that is, the manufacturing of that particular uh, sensors and operating parameters with respect to the economical range there is nothing but the cost differences either it may be increased or a medium range or uh, a maximum level need to be maintained and another one more it is uh, if the investment has been done uh, in, in a high range and for operational parameters it has been increased how how long those sensors will be existing upon operational basis so the investment will be calculated apart with the maintenance and will be equated to the performance of that particular component and how come or how long that operational conditions will be maintained and these are all some of the parameters or factors coming under the economical zone. And next, moving on to the sensor characteristics. And upon the performance, what are the required output conditions need to be satisfied as an output to the operator or analyst first one is the sensitivity accuracy range stability repeatability linearity error error rectifications reference zones response time frequency response and these are the some of the sensor characteristics or uh, parameters of the sensors need to be satisfied upon the operational basis when any of the sensors that has been discussed in the earlier uh, that is magnetic level sensors electrical sensors photoelectric sensors optical sensors radiographic sensors ultrasonic sensors etc whatever it may be so the in, upon the operational basis these are the characteristics need to be satisfied in the working scenario and depending upon these criteria by the environmental fee basis and for suitable environment certain economical factors need to be verified and depending upon the conditions whether that particular sensor will be able to satisfy the overall these characterizations such as sensitivity, range, stability, repeatability, etc., just we have been discussed or not will be verified, and later on the simulation activity will be progressed. And if at all it has been succeeded, moving on to the maximum or major production unit. Yeah, here is the question why the need of these sensors? Sensors are uh, pervasive, embedded in our uh, 
automobiles airplanes cellulars there is a contact mode either in the contact type of mode or non contact type of mode and without uh, the use of sensors there will be no automation so without uh, human involvement in the sense indeed to actuate like as in human beings the artificial intelligence will be in uh, will be a part of uh, this microcontroller and as per the processor instructions controller will take the ultimate decisions what the next step need to be maintained in an automobile similarly as like of uh, the human decisions Yeah, here is the monitor locations. The monitor locations of various parts in the system has been shown here. Absolute or relative position, angular or relative displacement, proximity conditions, accelerations. These are all the examples already. This proximity sensors have been looked away. Displacement sensors are also have been uh, analyzed once. Accelerations, there is nothing but uh, measuring of the speed or RPM of a particular automobile. And uh, beyond this all, what is the basic principle of operation in the sense? The magnetic source, resistive, capacitive, inductive, electrical current, etc. These are the major principle of operations that uh, the techniques will be calling as techniques utilized indeed to drive these different parts. So looking after this potentiometer upon orientations, the magnetic inductance will be getting generated within the internal parts of the equipment setup and the primary coil ignitations will impart the electrical flux generation upon the orientation of this particular magnetic coil in between the electrical windings and hence the impedance will be generated, EMF will be getting produced. So that EMF will increase furtherly and output range in the form of voltage increases. So this increases in the voltage creates the increment in the RPM also. So excitation of uh, or moment of this magnetic coil or core within the primary coil to the secondary coils. The excitation within the secondary coils due to the mutual inductance, the high amount of voltage will be getting generated as shown in the diagrammatically. And this output voltage is doubled than the input voltage. And hence, if the voltage as an input is equal to 1, the generated voltage will be 2. And hence, it will be increasing furtherly in the case of RPM or in the case of output. So, in the case of this strain gauge, strain gauge. Uh, we already discussed earlier that the strain gauge is used for measurement of uh, different types of stresses that has uh, occurred suddenly in the particular regions due to some application of uh, forces or application of uh, pressures or high deflections has been considered due to the application of high stress levels on a particular object. So these strain gauges uh, will be placed over there and the expansion of uh, this gauge length will be getting happened when the gauge width has been minuted with respect to the application of uh, forces towards its top and bottom directions. Simultaneously, these connecting rods will be getting expanded in both the directions. And if uh, it has been restricted in the otherwise other direction, only at one direction that is minus x axis, the incremental strategy will be taking place. So, indeed, to safeguard the terminals, the insulating layer 
and bonding element, bonding cement will be applied on the terminals. And the resistance of the sensing elements change with respect to the application of stress or even the strain values also. So uh, next one is moving on with respect to the temperature measurements. So here temperature measurements initially a ring like structures will be utilized and later on uniformity of the material has been utilized such as copper, silver, argentinum, silicon, germanium as a unique materials and later on changed to a bimetallic strip. So similar kind of materials can be utilized as a metal A and metal B or uh, the opposite materials also can be utilized as a metal A and metal B. So equal materials or uh, similar materials or dissimilar kind of materials can be utilized. And upon the utilization of dissimilar kind of materials, those materials will be getting strained upon the application of a similar thermal capabilities, but the results or parametric changes will be varied with respect to the material A and material B. For example, if you have been considered this metal A as in copper and metal B as in boron, boron will be having the highest carbon capability when compared to the copper and copper is having the high ductility capacity when compared to the boron upon incrementing of the temperature simultaneously incrementing of the temperature leads to the application of stresses in the case of thermal strategy towards the metal a and metal b simultaneously the changes that has been commencing in the metal a is very much faster when compared to the metal b such as copper to the cadmium material so initially the metal A will be getting strained. That is nothing but expansion will be getting done initially and later on metal B will be taking place. So at an ultimate level, metal A gets uh, to transform a maximum range. At a maximum range, it will be transformed to a liquid phase a bit earlier when compared to the cadmium. So those are the basic differences and uh, there it has it will be uh, applied so application leads to the most tracks um, makes or uh, breaks the electrical connection with the reflections and here is the formula that is a visible l naught of one plus beta of major, uh, major temperature to the obtained temperature t minus t naught so the temperature sensors looks like this. So next one is then uh, next one of the type of a temperature sensor is RTD, resistance temperature device RTD. When the similar formulation we have need to be found, the found or obtained results upon the operational processor. Next one is the thermistor. Simultaneously the thermocouple. So insulating material will be the same, but two different wires will be insulated with respect to a single strategy as displayed in the diagrammatical source. Next one is an accelerometer. Move on to the speed range of sensors, speed sensors. Accelerometers are used to measure the speed. So major applications here, uh, motion analysis, vibrational strategies, blast conditions, impact conditions, shock wave proofs will be identified. So we need to find out the vehicle speed. Vehicle speed will be utilizing these particular accelerometers and these are having with two different connectivities or display outputs, two different display outputs. First one it is the analog kind of display. 
and second one it is uh, the digital kind of display the basic difference here is incorporation of uh, converters or uh, transducer which transforms from the physical parameter from one form to another form that is physical phase of parameter to the digital phase of parameter that is a to d converter and log to digital converter simultaneously if the mode has to be changed will be realized for, for as and vice versa that is uh, digital to analog as well so there is accelerometer working nature so the device used to measure the uh, dynamical motions or uh, forces so the static forces like gravity pulling uh, uh, lying in the table dynamic forces caused by motion or uh, vibrations so how they will be worked is a basic phenomena there is seismic mass accelerometer so seismic mass accelerometer is connected under the acceleration conditions to a spring or a damper so damper uh, just the equipment setup we will be calling as an uh, shock absorbing devices shock absorbers uh, piezoelectric accelerators piezoelectric accelerators a crystalline structure is mounted on a mass under the undergoing the accelerations so upon sudden damping conditions the acceleration forces are produced a voltage signal and beyond a signal pulse the controller or analyzer will stabilize the absorbed force in the form of the voltage and displays on the stream and simultaneously the capacitive accelerometers it consists of two microstructures forming a capacitor that is micro machined features with the micro machined features and those acceleration forces move uh, one of the structure causing within capacitor changes so one will be getting changed with respect to n uh, capacitor forces uh, as per the acceleration forces has been applied and one will be as an in the ideal strategy uh, simultaneously these uh, thermal accelerometers this tracks location of a heated mass during acceleration by temperature sensors so the sudden uh, impact at the vibrating strategy when the mass has been applied that heat produced at that particular device mass characterizations or the damping device will be identified and depending upon that the results will be getting analyzed yes uh, automotive conditions in the case of automotive conditions motor vehicles stills rolling skidding impact vibrations etc creates the um, safety deploy safety devices and uh, uh, to ensure the comfortable ride also even these are used for in the aerospace conditions uh, usually utilized for uh, internal navigations smart uh, munitions unnamed vehicles so even some it will be applied in the sports and gaming personal electronics security conditions where uh, the motion and uh, vibration detections are being taking place and in the industrial devices and mostly in the robotic devices yeah uh, this is and uh, mx2 utilized in MEMS is the conditions or the strategies or application of these particular sensors in the case of MEMS. These are the devices consisting of a chamber of gas with a heating alignment in the center, just as shown or displayed in the diagrams as shown below. Four temperature sensors around its edge towards its four different stages as per the square representations and in the center the heating alignments will be accessed and here hold accelerometer level till the accelerometer 
and MX2125 electronics. Compares the difference measurements and generate the output pulses. This pulse duration ends uh, the sensor outputs. So how will we just have a glance over these uh, old accelerometer levels? So how gas packet rises to the top center of the accelerometer chamber? All these sensors measure the same temperature. So similar temperature will be measured, but not the variations or fluctuations, even if it has been tilted to to or uh, surrounding it towards its 360 degrees orientational basis. We are moving on to the light sensors, how the light sensors are utilized in the mechatronic systems and uh, where it will be uh, utilized and uh, how the detection process will be getting done. Uh, we will be having to just look for, look for these uh, light sensors. These are used in uh, cameras, infrared detectors, ambient lighting applications. Basically, these are composed with an, uh, a photoconductor such as uh, photodiodes, transistors, resistors. According to the working point of view, uh, the sensitivity will be uh, variable towards the resistors. And that resistance depends upon the intensity of the light rays. So under the two different conditions. First one it is in dark condition and uh, second one it is in bright conditions. The resistance is uh, quite very high. When the resistance has been very high, then it is called a dark resistance. And uh, when the resistance is uh, low, it's called a uh, few hundred or else the bright conditions. Coming to the factor of uh, response time, when a photoresistor is exposed to the light, it takes a few milliseconds before it lowers its resistance. And uh, for the experiencing of the removal of light, vice versa, it may take a few seconds to return back to its dark resistance. But it will be invisible with respect to our naked eye. That the observance it itself specifies the difference between these two different parameters considering towards the brightness or towards the darkness conditions that is response time basis basically these photoresistors exhibits a non-linear characterizations for incident optical illumination versus the resulting resistance the graphical representation and the values that has been obtained will be plotted on the graph as shown below and the calculation characterizations will be done with respect to a formula that is log 10 or is equal to alpha minus beta log 10 t. Moving on to the magnetic field sensors. The magnetic field sensors are used for power steering conditions, security basis, current measurement on transmission of different lights lines so hall voltage or hall effect conditions is directly is hall uh, so hall voltage is directly proportional to the magnetic field that is being generated and the magnetic field at respect to the hall voltage is uh, measured with respect to or calculated with respect to a formula that is IB by NQT where the induced current with respect to the battery difference shows to the generated pulse with respect within the time and n number of times it has been repeated. Yeah, here is the next type of sensor it is an ultrasonic sensors just we have been discussed in the previous class also and let us uh, see in depth how frequency need to be pointed at a what uh, range of frequency it is being operated and uh, which conditions and in how many types of zones we will be utilizing these uh, ultrasonic sensors these are the sensors used for uh, position measurements 
sound views emits or uh, in the range of uh, 2 to 13 megahertz and maximum it can be extended indeed to find out to 20 megahertz of frequency sound navigation and uh, ranging sonar so, sonar and radiation radio detection and uh, ranging sensors that is radar systems electromagnetic waves yes the photo gate these photo gates are used in counting applications so n number of services that has been passed on internally or through that particular photo gate will be counted and the infrared transmitter and receiver at opposite ends of the sensors and the time to which the light is broken is recorded so when the object and it has been passed internally that cuts the light passes from one gate of ends to the another gate of ends that is in receivers at the opposite ends of the sensors so when that light source has been disconnected from one end of the sensor to another end of the sensor simultaneously it detects that one pulse has been generated or one count has been taken place so continuously as a form of chain systemic device it will be going on so it's an photo gate system thank you